Hello everyone. Today we are going to open uh, CB403B, which is provided by Rajes Smart Stitch. Uh, Rajes is a fairly, uh, you can say, uh, established company, but not known to many people. Okay, it has been established. I don't know, maybe 60s or something. Okay, so we bought this machine uh, just today. Uh, the we have evaluated around seven eight machines and then i got to know about this machine on a few unknown website but there were not many uh, information available anywhere so i thought to check directly with the manufacturer or the supplier uh, rajesh stylish stitches, stitches company okay uh, this machine is actually built in taiwan and it is based on japanese technology and uh, it has around 403 stitch patterns along with uh, uh, some reverse patterns so effectively some of the, your patterns will be uh, double so it will be uh, maybe around somewhere around 500 or something so which is uh, very good in the price range which they are having so i'm just uh, i have just opened this machine and kept it here then some initial level testing and I thought to post the uh, uh, some uh, feedback here uh, this is the testing which was done by supplier so I have not done anything on this okay uh, this is the something which I have tried on this uh, uh, thick cloth okay this is the back side okay front side so I have just plugged in the uh, foot pedal which came along with this so this is a foot pedal okay can use the foot pedal for controlling speed see this power supply i have connected to my supply okay so this is a there is, here is a power button you can just switch it on okay wow your digital machine is up okay so now uh, now there are several uh, things are already provided by the supplier here so you can see there are several foot pedals okay so i'm not very much uh i don't know how many pedals i would be using okay so the, there are some bobbins here there are some uh, uh clips here so yeah so these these pressure foots oh sorry these are pressure foots i don't i don't know i am aware of only two three pressure foots but yeah the there are several pressure foot comes along with this okay so we'll go through that Okay, there are some spinners, cleaner, okay, so uh, stuff. But the what exactly uh, what actually I like is the button house swing swing in this, okay. Uh, automated button stitching, uh, some uh, picot uh, uh, stitching, hammer, uh, the there are some embroidery as well. So we will go through that later. Okay, so using this machine is just fairly very easy. Okay, just switch it on okay so here you can find the uh, pressure foot lifter okay this is your needle this is your needle threader you can use needle threader to uh, to uh, uh, put the thread inside the needle okay so this is your bobbin place so uh, once earlier when i used the uh, machine see they had to put bobbin here somewhere and then put it but here it is very convenient you just have to put the bobbin here so how you can open it you just uh, slide it here you open it oh, sorry let me just okay let's be pressured uh, you can as soon as you slide it it will open so yeah here is your bobbin okay you can just put your bobbin by okay maybe it's like this simple okay so here is your bobbin we just have to make sure uh, this is counterclockwise okay your uh, thread is like this way okay just put it here simply like this okay okay just slide it thread here thread put the thread here okay now it's done and they have provided the threader also so just slide it here 
and it will cut the thread extra thread so you don't have extra thread now just close the bobbin case okay now this is done okay for the in the upper side we have the spool stretcher uh, holder so this is how you, uh, you put this spool so it is very fairly easy taking here um, follow the direction and till the point here okay now here also we will have a automatic threader so let me show you how it works okay so just uh, uh, you, yeah you do that okay simple like this okay okay stitch here okay, put it here uh, press it more press it more 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 okay just have to put it here okay then leave it yes okay then zoom your thread is at the other side just pull it okay and now your thread is done and now what you need to do is you either you can use the preset foot or you can just rotate this towards you to get the thread done okay so you will get the thread here okay so you got the bobbin thread as well you can see here you got the bobbin thread okay mm -hmm. Mm, yeah here here is your woven thread okay just pull it now yes perf this is perfectly fine now mm, you can okay let me just sort it this okay so here are several buttons here there is a menu digital display it is not zoom it okay now Let, let me just show you the function of this okay I'll just put it here uh, let me just put my the other way okay yes, so. okay then I'll just put it here close to this okay and I can just simply press the start button and it will start swing so I can keep it I don't have to actually use the press or alternatively I can use the press effort okay now if I want to press uh, do this okay direction okay so this is how you can done, do it and if you want to when you swing you just want to uh, lock the uh, swing okay, what you can do is you can use the that's it it is done okay so now just lift it the cloth take it to the backward is your to cut out done yep not done this is not done Let to try once again okay this is done now there are several memory functions you just have to click here on the memory Okay, it will give you five patterns these are not visible as of now but yes you, you can see it 
So once you click it here on the the extreme right, there is a button. Okay, if you click it here, you'll see this window. Okay, so first is normal one, so you can directly select the patterns if it is on this mode. So you, these are the one you can select, or alternatively, you can just use the navigation buttons here, the right, left, okay, to go to that sections. Okay, so this is how you can go to any of this, just go to this, select okay, and you are here. Now you can select the pattern. Once you select the pattern, it will tell you which type of uh, swing it will be, what is the uh, the length, what is the width, okay, and what is the pressure foot you have to use. Okay, so you can just either you can directly go to the instruction or press the number, or you can select the pattern. So you can see the pressure foot. So make sure you are using the. Uh, right pattern uh, pressure foot here okay so as of now i'm using the t-shape pressure foot so i'll uh, just try to go to any uh, pressure foot okay wash karte so sorry i just had to attend a call so this, this is how we would select the pattern so select any pattern okay on my let's go to this pattern select any pattern which is there are so many patterns you can just click on this button and slide up and down okay I had tried to set to uh, because I'm using T shaped pressure foot, so I'll select a pattern which has the this it supports the T shape which works on T shape. So I'll be selecting the, this pattern, okay? This is pattern number 68. You can figure out. Just click on OK. It will show me the pressure foot, the design, the length, everything. Okay. I am all set. Let me just 